you have new record now from last year, Lion Heart, does it work it well? What about the sales and the reviews? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, first of all, thank you very much for the interview. It's really cool to be here back in Spain. Um, Lionheart is going great. Uh, we are very satisfied. First, we played uh, a big support tour for Delane featuring Marco Yetela from Nightwish, which was a great success. And after that, we did uh, a big headlining tour all over Europe. We only missed Spain. I know, I know, I know. But hopefully, we will do that. Or not, like, hopefully. We're gonna be back here in Spain in April for four dates. We're gonna do a headline tour here in Spain. So watch out the dates on our Facebook page or Instagram or whatever. And from the sales, I have no clue to be honest. I just know that the album is selling good. But how many copies exactly, right now I have no clue. And nowadays, you know, with selling copies, you cannot uh, exactly get if it's successful or not because in the age of Spotify and, and all this stuff, you know, not only selling is telling you something about your success. So, I'm quite satisfied with that. Well, next tour in Spain, next April, uh, what cities do you visit? Um, to be honest, I don't know that right now by heart. I just know that it's, well, it will be a tour not in the typical cities. As far as I know, we don't play Barcelona and we don't play Madrid. We play other cities, uh, but just check it out. After this festival, we will be able to announce this tour. So, hope to see you there. Serenity has visited Spain before, before now, but I think always supporting other bands. What do you think about the Spanish audience and our country? <laughs> Yes, that's true. The first time we've been here was in 2007 supporting Camelot and then in 2011 supporting Delane and 2016 supporting Powerwolf. And now we are back here on this beautiful festival, Ripoli Rock Festival, which is really cool. And in general, we really love uh, the fans here in Spain because they are very emotional. You know, they are having a good time when they go to a concert. They are really, yeah, starting a big party. So that's really cool for us as a band. And so we always enjoy to play in Spain. Serenity was founded a couple of years ago, in the first years of this century, I think, in 2000, 2001. Yeah, in, I mean, with this silence on, uh, it was founded in 2004. Okay. In 2004, exactly. Okay. But you were always in the second line in Europe. Why do you think this is true? Um, yeah, quite honestly, we have been a bit too late with this style. When you compare it, for example, with bands like Stratovarius, like uh, Sonata Arctica, like Rhapsody or Hammerfall or Ed Guy, you know, they uh, started their career uh, end of the 90s, for example, 97, 98, something like this. And this kind of style we're playing, this melodic power metal, symphonic metal, was very common there and very popular in this period. But then, yeah, it went down a bit. And you can also see it. Uh, on the example of the other bands, even the big bands back then are not that big anymore nowadays because the music is not that uh, in right now, but it will come back and we will be there. Well, what are the immediate future plans for Serenity? Um, yeah, we're gonna to next next week. We're gonna start uh, our next headlining tour, headlining uh, tour through the UK, United Kingdom. We're gonna play six concerts in England or in Scotland as well. Then we do uh, another big headlining tour in October, November, together with our friends from Visions of Atlantis again, uh, being supported by Dragony and Temperance. And also the UK tour will be supported by Temperance and Elite from Italy. So yeah, many, many concerts until the next year. And then uh, with the new year, we're gonna do some special acoustic shows. For example, Wacken Winter Nights, we're gonna play again there and many many other things are coming so check it out what do you think about free festivals like Ripollet Rock against big payment festivals <laughs> uh, it's really cool that this festival is for free because um, to be honest I think we've never played on a festival which was completely for free so yeah this is really really positive and I think the big thing for us as a band 
is that many people are showing up here just to be here, checking out the music, although they are not real metal fans and rock fans. They just are coming here, checking out what's happening here, because it's for free, and perhaps, you know, one out of ten will be a new Serenity fan. Then it's okay. And the last one, what means for you to be here in Republic Rock, and what are your feelings about it? I know you don't, don't play it yet. No, 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 true, true, true. Um, yeah, first of all, everybody's very friendly here. Uh, like I said before, Spain is always special because uh, it, it starts with the weather, you know. The weather is fine, everybody is really relaxed. And the only problem, or not problem, the only bad thing today for us, you know, for our time schedule is that we have to go or that we are able to go or that we are allowed to go on stage uh, quite late at quarter past three. And for a guy from mid-Europe, it's really, really, really late. For you in Spain, I know, it's a normal time, but for us, normally, I'm in bed. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Georg from Serenity, and you're listening to TNT Radio, and let's rock 